Hey, so I'm here at Fleming Instrument Repair checking out the uh, new Selmer Supreme alto saxophone. Uh, they have, I think, just this one in stock. Um, so, you know, if you're in the Houston area, uh, you should definitely uh, come check it out. But this is the new, um, you know, flagship alto uh, model that they just released uh, about a week ago. Um, so uh, before before I give my first impressions, I'm not even gonna call it a review because I've only been playing it for about uh, 15 minutes or so. Um, so I haven't really had time uh, to really you know do some some finger practice and stuff to get acclimated to it. Um, so I'll just call it a first impression. Um, but before I before I do that, I'm not uh, I just want to let y'all know I'm not associated in any way with uh, you know Selmer, Con Selmer, Selmer Paris. Uh, Fleming, nobody's paid me to do this. Um, I've just uh, been really lucky and fortunate that uh, Fleming Instrument Repair was willing to let me uh, just sample the, the saxophone that they had. Uh, so I'm not being paid to give my opinion uh, at all. Um, so I normally perform on a Selmer Series 2. Um, that's the alto that I have. Uh, so this is actually quite different uh, in many, many ways, all of them good uh, from what I normally play. Um, so just on, you know, first look, the lacquer itself is a lot darker, um, which is really just this rich, gorgeous gold kind of color, which I really like. Um, you know, aesthetically as well, the, uh, the engraving is kind of updated and modernized. Uh, if you've been following, you know that they have the uh, standard traditional floral prints, as well these, as these cubes that are supposed to be kind of uh, representation of like the, the molecules of the metal alloy. The thing I really like about it though is that um, the uh, the engraving doesn't stop on the belt. It just continues around the instrument um, and even comes up the body tube all the way up. You can see there's some design up here all, almost all the way up to the neck tenon, um, which is a nice touch I think. Um, and uh, it's, it's a very beautiful instrument to look at. Um, in terms of the mechanics of it, it's got that that wonderful, just smooth feeling to it. I was talking to their technician, Wes, earlier, who said that the inside is actually coated uh, with Teflon, the inside of the rods. So, it, so not only does it hold the oil, the key oil, a little bit better, but it also has this just very fluid kind of move to it, or motion to it, um, which is just, just feels really, really great. Um, yeah, uh, a few other things you know, kind of aesthetically here. The key guards, you can see, are uh, completely updated, and there's a lot less, I guess, metal to them, but they also have a kind of a newer, more modern design. I think it looks really cool. Um, you know, so, so the key guards are really cool. Um, and there's also this kind of like throwback to the earlier, you know, Mark Six and Mark Seven kind of series where you have the fork F-sharp as, as just a standard pearl instead of the oval shapes that uh, you know, the, the Series 2 has, or my Series 2 has. Um, probably mechanically, the two things that I really like the most about this update is the placement of the kind of side key array right here and just the shaping of the keys. You can see that they're, uh, they're kind of contoured. Um, which uh, and there's also kind of this slight downward angle to them. Um, I was playing some chromatic technique earlier and it just lays so well in the hand. Um, and I went up into Altissimo and I like to go from crunch G up to the uh, side um, A using the TCTA um, in my technique uh, just because I like the stability of both those notes. Um, as long as I deal with the kind of like the sharpness of the altissimo G, that's fine. So on my on my saxophone, that's kind of a real bear to do because the the, key, the way the keys are shaped with that contour there, like it just goes really really easily up into that, and it just feels so so good to do. Um, so I really like that side key array. That's the first thing. Um, the second really big thing that I like about this is the octave mechanism. Um, I don't know if you can see from that angle on the camera, but the uh, the octave key is really, really close to that to the uh, thumb rest there, um, and so it's not 
you know, flaring up. And so the, the thumb motion is just incredibly ergonomic and just compared to my series two is just, it just is amazing. And, and the motion of it is very, very small. It's just maybe, I don't know, like a quarter of an inch max, not even. I don't know what that would be in millimeters. Thank you, America. Um, but yeah, so, so the ergonomics of it are just fantastic and out of this world. Um, one other kind of newer feature is the uh, neck screw itself is actually adjustable in terms of like just being able to move it around to where you want it, uh, which I think is an interesting feature. Uh, I don't know, maybe I'm old school now, but I like to have it kind of on the front where it normally would be anyway. Um, yeah, so you know, so that's basically, that's how, it's, how it functions, how it looks, um, how it sounds. It's really got this really beautiful mellow sound. <laughs> thing I really like about it is that notes that are right next to each other uh, have a very uh, cohesive sound so you're not going to have you know on, on my series two um, I have a problem with my B kind of popping out when I'm coming up from A on these two they're on this saxophone those two notes are just really really consistent um, and so that was something that you know just me personally I noticed was uh, really really good um, a lot of a lot of people have been talking about uh, the tuning of the octaves on this saxophone, um, and I can tell you that the hype is real for that. Um, especially when you're talking about like A, B, C, uh, C sharp. Um, you know the, the the intonation on it isn't perfect, but it is a lot closer. Especially if you're going to be coming from uh, from a series two um, or perhaps an older uh, Yamaha. Um, you know, so like, uh, I guess I just played a few notes here. Yeah, so I'm still having to adjust just a little bit, but not nearly as much as I would normally have to. Um, also, the uh, the bottom of it, um, the low C, low B, low B flat, all those notes, they are they are a lot closer um, to being in tune um, as well. You know, the uh, I would say that the B flat is still just a little tiny bit sharp. I'm having to pull it down just a tiny bit, um, but other than that, I mean, the others are almost dead on. Um, without with little to no uh, embouchure or voicing adjustment. Um, so yeah, that's my short little first impression of this instrument. Uh, if you're in the Houston area um, and, you, and you want to try it out, um, you know, I would just contact Fleming uh, Instrument Repair and uh, and see see if they've got some time for you to drop by uh, it would definitely be worth your time um, you know if I my wife would let me uh, I would buy it right now um, but alas was not meant to be at least not yet um, so uh, oh one other thing I can't believe I forgot to talk about this the uh, the front uh, auxiliary F key or, or X key as some people call it um, the, uh, it, it's been completely kind of redesigned. Uh, so it's, it's a little bit more contoured and beveled like the other keys, but it's also placed slightly differently so that it's, it's just way more comfortable when the key is pressed to get up to that, that key. Um, and uh, it's just been completely, re completely redesigned and the tuning on it is, is quite nice, at least on, on this particular Supreme. Um, yeah, I don't think there's uh, anything else that comes to my mind immediately. Um, yeah, if you're a repair tech, you'll like that the uh, F-sharp guard is now uh, removable, um, which is going to be something that's really kind of nice. Um, 
if you're ever having to work on that key. Uh, but yeah, you know, so all in all, I would say I'm, I'm really quite impressed. Um, you know, you always hear about new horn hype and you think, uh, is it true? And I think in this case, it definitely is. Um, so, uh, so yeah, a really beautiful horn, really beautiful sound, uh, some really stellar improvements in terms of mechanics and intonation. Uh, this is definitely something that's on my wish list. Um, so, uh, so yeah, that's my impression of the Selmer Supreme.